Hello everyone, this is Vicki Stitch and Button, and it is January 10th, it's Wednesday, and it is daytime. I have been trying to switch my schedule around, so bear with me, I'm actually a little tired right now. Uh, I've been up since 1.30 this morning. I'll get there, I'll get there. My, my goal is to wake up anywhere between 11 and 1 at least. So I'll have to start setting an alarm once I get there. I feel like I'm going to take a nap in a little bit and then maybe I can get myself on schedule. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. I was supposed to have a giveaway announcement. I was supposed to announce three winners and I can't find the charts, guys. I have looked everywhere. As a matter of fact, this is the second time I'm starting this video because I went to do the winners and I can't find the charts. I don't know where they went. I've looked. I'm looking all over the place for like that last second Hail Mary and it's not happening. Anyway, I can't find them. I've looked all the logical places. Maybe I'll find them in a random project bag or something. Maybe I scooped them up with a project. So... I will eventually, if I find them, then I'll do the drawing for them from the correct video and send them out. In the meantime, I'm going to have other giveaways then just to make up for it. Uh, also, from my video 145, because this one's from 149, I had a winner that has not claimed their chart. Their name is Batch Stitch Crazy. And I did comment on your comment, and I haven't heard anything, so I'm going to give you another chance to get in touch with me. There's all kinds of information in my description box below, one of them being the email, uh, stitchandbutton at gmail. There's also my group. There's whoever I, whoever I mention. Um, uh, I get my nails. I, well, my nails, they're, they're my nails. They grow out of my fingers. But uh, I get the Color Street. This one's BYO Bubbly from Color Street. And I get mine from uh, Jen Upton, and I mentioned that below. And there's the Buy Me a Kofi, and there's my hashtags that I'm using. So definitely check out after my videos if you want any information. Usually everything's up down below. So Bat Stitch Crazy. Get in touch with me either on Instagram or Facebook or email, and I need your address, okay? And if by the next video, I'm surprised I haven't lost that. How did I still have that one, but I can't, I don't have the ones from two weeks ago. It's going to drive me crazy, absolutely crazy. Anyway, um, get in touch with me so I can get that out to you. <sighs> What's next? My old chart. Focus on a new chart, on an old chart. And I brought out this one. This one's from Ben Creek. I like Ben Creek. I like, uh, there's another one. And I thought about it and it's gone. Anyway, so this Ben Creek is from 2001. And it is called Long Winter. It's very cute. My little snowman there. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, uh, don't discount your old charts. I should get that up. I thought about it. All right, so let's put this off to the side. What's up? Uh, I know I've had smatterings of mentioning my plans for this year. I brought over 60 whips this year. I had have the ones that you guys voted on and anything that didn't get voted in I put in what's called my hibernating section so basically I put all those uh whips that I'm not going to work on this year and they are in a, bag, a zip up bag that I bought and it's in the closet and those ones are hibernating doesn't mean I will not stitch on any of them it just means that for now I am not gonna I don't pl have plans on stitching on them but I may say, you know what, I want to stitch on that and bring it out and add it to the whip list. But for now, I had 60 to start the new year. Um, I should have mentioned before, which is, I've been scatterbrained. I think I'm actually down to, let me look. I'm down 
down to 60. Yeah, I think I'm down to 60. Okay, so um, this year I'm also going to try to focus on stitching from stash. I am going to keep my purchases down to a minimum, and I'm actually thinking about maybe even putting my fabric of the month on pause. I keep on saying that, but I really don't want to because I'm enjoying the fabric from Grace Notes. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So far, I have not put it on pause. I paid for this month already, and I'm looking forward to getting it. But as far as charts and stuff, I am really trying not to buy anything. And it's only the 10th tenth, tenth day of the month that I'm already like, it's been hard. It's been hard to go, oh, no, I like that. No, I don't need it. So we'll see. The only thing I plan on buying is stuff that I absolutely need um, for stuff that I need to start or want to start or uh, have started and I might need something. For instance, I was kidding up one tonight, last night, I guess, and I need some DMCs, so I'm going to order those. It's no big deal, uh, but as far as just haphazardly ordering stuff that's what i'm trying not to do we'll see how that goes i'll keep you updated um where else am i okay so i have three finishes to show you two are totally finished one i decided to only do half of and i'll show you why okay so the other night, this is uh night before last night, I've been doing a, a good bit of stitching. So I have a good bit of stitching to show you. Over the past two weeks, I've been enjoying myself. Uh, I pulled out this freebie. It is called Pumpkin Kiss. It's from Cricut uh, Collection. And I like the kisses. I like the gloves, the, the mittens that they have. So I decided to pull out this small one. And he is called Pumpkin Kiss. Basically, it's the shape of a Hershey kiss, but with a different theme. And obviously, this one's a pumpkin for, like, Halloween or and or um, fall. I stitched him using old willow stitchery threads. Don't mind me. There's a spider, guys. There is a spider all night. He's been in the same spot. He's about this big. So... He's not a tiny spider, but he's not a huge one. But I think he's a baby uh not a wolf spider, but a huntsman, a baby huntsman. Adolescent huntsman. I don't know, but he's still there and it's very distracting. Anyway, so back to Mr. Pumpkinhead over here. So I didn't I, I couldn't recognize the thread. She doesn't tell you the, the th there. So she doesn't. She tells you the name of it, but when I looked it up, I couldn't find. It's not a um, General Arts. It's not Weeks Dye Works. So I don't know. I don't know what brand she used back then because this is from 2010. But. I went through my stuff and I went through what I call my dead threads and those are the ones that uh, just aren't being made anymore. So I went to my Weeks Dye Work, not my Weeks Dye Works, my Old Willow Stitchery and I found a couple of colors that I liked and then I used the 310 Black and then for the little tag I used some light effects from DMC. I don't usually like light, light effects but I didn't even use a whole um two strand length on that so that was fine it was just a few stitches and the fabric is 32 count cocoa from dames of the needle i had this and another piece that i had gotten from before so i actually stitched this all in one night and it ended up being 848 stitches so that's a little a small finish a saff a start and finish I'm not sure what I want to do with him. I was thinking about maybe putting him like on a stick, maybe taking like a chopstick and cutting it and making a little little stand. Uh, this one, this one's called Stitching with Friends, and this is from the Little Stitcher. It's one that we got from the Stitch West 
back in 2022, 2021, 2022, Stitch West, and I had started it, I stitched it on, I want to say it's a 36 count, uh, Vicki Clayton fabric, it's a, it's a linen, and I stopped here, now this is about halfway, there's a, it, it says uh, the only thing better than stitching is stitching with friends, and I used these silks for you. They were small skeins. It was like a sampler pack that I had gotten from them. So that's, those are the colors I used from silks for you. And I got this far and I decided, you know what? I don't know why it's nothing against Lil Stitch Girl. I like her stuff. But I wasn't enjoying the stitch as much as I thought I was. I like it. But I just wanted to stop. But I, and when I got that far, I thought, you know what? That's a good place to stop anyway. Because what I'm going to end up doing is I'm taking this picture, which is from that retreat, and I'm going to frame it all together like this. Even with the um, needle minder. I thought that would be cute. It's a cute picture from the retreat. And that's how I want to do it. So I called that a finish, an early finish. I'm gonna put this in here. I need to pull a um a frame. I need to I need I need I need I need to take a few days and do some FFOing because I'm gonna have to move out this table to get to the bin to get to all the frames. And once I do that, it's gonna take me a couple of days because I'm not gonna just frame one thing and put it all back. I will frame a few things all at once. All within a couple of days before I decide to call it quits. All right, so my third and final finish from the past two weeks is one that was sent to me from J Long, and it is called Sea Hag. It's from Odd and Familiar, and the th the fabric was Under the Sea Fabrics. This came in Under the Sea Fabrics Mermaid box, I think it was, and it's thirty two count Ophelia Under the Sea Fabric linen. And it used Dinky, Dinky, Dinky Dyed Silks, number 107 Turquoise. And there we go. Sea Hag, Sea Hag. Now, a mermaid before the first cup of coffee. So she's all done. I have the finishing pack. So I need to uh, finish her. I, although I don't think I want to make it into a pillow. I think I want to make it into a flat hanger. So we'll see how that goes. And these are little floss drops that have little cutouts, but they're kind of thin paper. I don't know if I want to try to figure out a way to incorporate those into the finish. So that one's done also. Three finishes, guys. Three. There's also been some plans going on. I have some plans for a new start. Uh, actually probably a couple of new starts. We'll see. Um, and I'll show you that when I get to the plans. All right. I did some stitching. Lots of stitching, as you can see already. This was on the 1st of January. And it is Bells of Ireland. This is one that uh, Laurel Ann had gotten me. And we started it together. And I ended up putting in... 555 stitches. Let me get this out of the way. 555 stitches. It is being stitched on, I think it's a witch alt linen, honestly. And that is how far I got. So basically, I had this done here and some of this dark blue, but I finished the dark blue. I finished all the light blue and that part of the skin. All the skin that you see is what I stitched. So I got a good bit done on her. I'm almost caught up to Laurel. And our goal is to finish her this year because we want to start. Uh, it's in here. Queen Anne's Lace. All right. Put in here. You guys know I'm looking in these just to make sure I don't have those giveaways in here. 
So she'll come out definitely because we want to try to finish her. Next up is my Wizard of Oz from Heaven Earth Designs. Scott Gustafson is the artist of this one. And I am stitching this one over one full cross on 25 gallon easy grid. I ended up putting 400 stitches in on this one. And it doesn't look like anything, guys. So I, um, I did fill in. And I, that looks so weird there, but that's the colors that it called for. So I did a lot of fill in going down here and through here and even a lo little bit up into there. My focus was to try to move down and because I'm, I think this is like the page break right around here somewhere. So I wanted to, my dog. He's trying to kill me. Okay, so that was a silent but deadly. Gunner, you are killing me, dude. Okay, anyway, so that's what it looks like. This needle minder is from, I have for minders, I think I got, that's where I got that one from. This one will come back out again this year because I definitely want to get more in my full coverages, so I'm going to try to fit them in more often this year. And I didn't bring all of them over. So I have fewer to deal with. This next one is... I'd like to finish this one this year, and it's definitely feasible, and it is my Doctor Who. I want to say that's uh, Matt Smith, because of the nose and the hair, and that chin. Yeah, that's, I don't think that's um, David Tennant. Anyway, so this is from Oh My Stitches Shop on, on Etsy, and I ended up doing 658 stitches on the 2nd of January. This one's being stitched on Dapple Belfast Linen from Pictures Plus 32 count using the called for DMC. And this is where I'm at with him. He looks so good. And this camera actually makes these colors just pop really good. This is available in my group. And all the stitching down here that you see... That's what I did. I filled in all this down here, and I think when I go back to it, I just have to, this is like the lowest point. So that's as far down as it goes, and all the back here is done. So we just have to do, do the rest of this front part of the pro profile on the top. I forget what the percentage was on it. I, I, I think I'm just over 50% done, just over. But I'm happy with the way it looks. I'm gonna put this one. He's gonna be done this year for sure. Because I have another one from Fiddlesticks AU. Uh, Wibbly Wobbly Timey Wimey. I wanna do that one, so I'll start that one after I finish this one. I also, the last week of the year, I decided I could stitch on whatever I wanted, so I decided to stitch on Long Dog, and I ended up putting in a total of 1,105 stitches, and that is on You Belong to Me. I am stitching this on a 32 count mystery linen. I don't know the color or where it came from, and I'm using PR168 from Silks for You, and here's how far I got. open it up and I'm pretty sure I showed this to you in my last video there's a uh, Miss Jessica Fletcher <laughs> Angela Lansbury all right so the last bef before this session of stitching I had all this and before done and some of this so I did some of this and I did this whole entire building and this bird and there's some back stitch that needs to go on this guy mm -hmm. and I did a little bit of back stitch there I'm gonna finish going all the way across and then move down and go across again sort of like a typewriter method 
think that's the best bet for this one. It was a nice, easy stitch. I was really enjoying it. And the pyramids I'm going to do in the sulky. Just the pyramids. And that is sulky number 1070 in 12-weight cotton. In case you were wondering. Alrighty. I did a New Year New Start. And I did it like right after midnight I started it. And that was Say Coffee from Heartstring Samplery. I am stitching it on the hog bristle that it's called for, 36 count hog bristle from Fox and Rabbit. And I'm uh, stitching it one over two. I ended up putting 400 stitches in. Now, I don't know why, but the fabric here looks a lot lighter than the fabric that I got. I don't know if they are dyeing it darker or if it just came up lighter in the picture. Not quite sure. But here I am. Now, um, I did notice, if you look, there's no coffee cup in the model stitch. But there was one on, on the chart. So that's what 400 stitches on that looks like. I'm enjoying the stitch. This is uh, 36 count, so it's slightly smaller. One strand, not bad. I'm enjoying it. I don't have the red, which is uh, Ruby Slipper, and I ordered it from Sammy at uh, Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery. She went and ordered the threads for that I needed, and she had gotten them all in, and she realized when she ordered, she got wool instead of cotton for Ruby Slipper. <gasps> We're still trying to figure out how she did that one. It was fine, though. Um, she did reorder it for me. Hasn't come in yet, but I told her I might just sub it out if I go to stitch on it again and I don't have it. I might just sub it out, but I still want it, so just so I have it in, in my uh, stash. All right. This one, I have a picture on my tablet for you ready. And it is, I just call it Dragon because it, I'm not sure the exact name. It's from 2x2 Stitch Art on Etsy. All one word and this is what it looks like this is the actual picture from the PDF so that's what it looks like and it's a monochrome and let's see it is 225 by 255 I started this one uh, on the 31st on New Year's Eve I put 300 stitches in on it and it's being stitched on 28 count Venus and Serena from Fortnite Fabrics. I am stitching it one over one just with 310. And that is what 300 stitches look like on one over one full cross. I really like this fabric for this one. I think it's going to look really cool. And I'm not sure where this needle minder came from because it was a gift from Kate from Fickle Stitches and this went in the dragonfly bag that I was using for my Guardians of Notre Dame so since I had the finishes and everything I st I'm still at 60 I thought that was pretty cool the other night, I picked up this round robin. This is uh, the Ink Circles round robin that I am stitching with Sammy J, uh, Sarah from My Stitching Kingdom, and Holly, uh, who Holly doesn't have a floss tube, but she does run a couple of the challenge groups like um, Hell Stitching and Whip Acres. And we decided we were going to do an Ink Circles round robin. We all picked our own. This is Sammy's portion. I did my portion already. This one's Sammy's uh, by any other name now. But we're doing with ours is everybody picked a different color for their flower. And Sammy's got a deep red. And I have a turquoise, I think. But uh, 
I ended up doing about 300 stitches on my portion, my portion, same as the bottom. And this is being stitched on, I'm trying to see, 32 count far slushy from Fabric Flare. And Sammy did the bottom portion. Now, in the ink circles where you crisscross, you know, you get a corner. But the way this one falls, we're actually doing the X and everybody gets a wedge. Gets a wedgie. And my section is over here. So I think I've done a total of 500 stitches so far to get that much done. Maybe 500. It's getting there. Uh, she's using the called for threads except for our flower co color. After this, I have to wait. She's going to send me Holly's and Sarah's section. That spider's still there. It's freaking me out. He's not moving. I mean, he moved technically. He turned around. But he's still in the same spot. Can't stand it. Alright. So yeah, I got 300 stitches in on that. I need to do more. Obviously, I need to finish my section. But here's the thing. With ink circles, if you haven't stitched one, just count, 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 and double check. Because if nothing else, ink circles will show you how much you actually screw up a cross stitch pattern. Because it's not going to line up. We have had more problems. I have frogged that a couple of times. My section, I, I actually did pretty good. I whipped it all out in like just a couple of nights and I was done. And I was happy with it. I sent it on. Holly had so many problems on that on her section on mine and then she had set problems on hers and Sarah messed up on hers and didn't realize it. and then Sammy found it it has been just crazy crazy for lack of better words so just go slow and double check every chance you get because it's been nuts and frustrating um, next one is The Bee Comes. This is Leela Studio. I started this as a New Year New Start with, uh, Bees and T stitching on the, was it 2020? 2020. It was January 2020 we started together. They have since finished theirs. I have not. It's fine. It's fine. Because I beat them in a couple of other things. I am stitching mine on 32 count doubloon linen from Picture This Plus uh, using, I think, some called for, some not. And here it is. I, when I worked on it this last time, let me see, I put in 447 stitches. And that was this B. No, was it the whole B? I don't remember. I think I think it was. I think it's whatever you see here. It was 447 stitches. I did the back stitch on here. I did the back stitch on him also. And I finished this flower. And there's another one identical over here. So I figured I'd do the borders down the bottom in this corner. And going up the side. That way I can just finish this section off. And this will probably come out this year again. It's fine. I don't know. Well, I've been thinking about why I don't want to. It's not a hard stitch once I start stitching. But why don't? Why am I not drawn to it? And I think it's because. Now, I made these choices. I subbed it out. The middle thread the lighter purple that I chose I don't like what it models into but it's already there and I'm not changing it out I'm not picking it out and I think that just throws me off I don't absolutely hate it but it's not my favorite and it's been giving me a mental block I don't know it'll get done it'll get done anybody else have that problem like, they, even though it's not the whole thing, you still like it, but 
there's one thing and it just stops you from wanting to stitch on it. All right, last thing I stitched, was it the last? No, it's not the last thing. It's close to the last thing though. But the last thing is a little bit buried. I stitched on my uh, animal magnetism. It's a chart and charms. It's out of print from Dimensions. You may be able to find it on eBay or something. And I am stitch this, stitching this one on 28 count linen. I think it's like one of those Charles Craft linens. Uh, I put in 325 stitches on this. And I concentrated on the corner. This looks so good, guys. Look, this is what he looks like now. What I actually stitched on was I did the half stitches here. I did all the back stitching and there were and six full stitches. Out of all those three hundred and something stitches, I've only I only did six full stitches, which were the black. Everything else was back stitching and half stitches. So I did all the half stitching here. I did all the back stitching in here. Half of this wasn't back stitched. I did that. All this border all around here. But it's that corner is done. And now I can either move down or move across. I'm not sure what I want to do. I think I might want to move down. Because if I finish out the half stitches around here, then I can finish out the back stitching on this elephant. Because he looks so good. So, Belinda, marvel at its beauty because you keep on telling me I need to stitch on this one. This is one that I want to stitch. I have pledged to put at least 100 stitches in every month. Now this time I put 325, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean I'm only going to put in 100. It means I'm going to put in at least 100. There's another one that I'll show you in a minute in my plans that it will also at least get a hundred. Probably more, but it's got to get at least a hundred, like if I'm having a slow month or a busy month. All right. This one is 272 words. Now, I broke this up into 12 parts from what I had already gotten done. And I'll show you that picture. So here it is. I had to fix the picture and blow it up. It's all wonky, but it's fine. The green stuff is what was already stitched. So I'm starting out January pretty light and I'm gonna do that top border and there's stars and this top line of text. February is going to be very word heavy. So, I still have it in the nerds because I'm not done yet. But basically what I did was, when I started stitching, I had a P... That, okay, so I'm using the called for threads, guys. But I'm using the called for DMC for the letters because it's just taken an absorbent amount of thread, right? I ended up putting in 300 stitches on this one on the 4th. I have more to put. Uh, oh, and this is 32 count vanilla latte from Be Stitch Me. I had ordered it's a half yard. So I ended up putting in the stars. And this is a every other stitch border. I put that in. And then I started with a piece of thread. And I, this letter was already here. So I did the E and half the V. And that's when I realized, oh yeah, I'm only doing the top line. So then I went and did the letters. So I just need to finish the line. Comes over to about here. And then I'll be done for January. Which I may stitch on that tonight. We'll see. We will see. So that's what I stitched on, right? What I need to stitch on also, besides finish up that section is Maurice, my Christmas moose from Panna. 
This is the one where I swapped out the fabric from the Ada and I put it on Murky from Pictures Plus. And this is where he's at. Basically, he's almost half done. He's got a little bit more down here and in his mouth, but I just need to finish up the back stitch. I had started it. And I did notice later on that I did this tree in the wrong color back stitch. I did it in black instead of dark brown. It's staying. But I'll finish up the back. When I start on him again, I'll do the back stitch and then come down and finish up here and then move over so I can start the other antler. But this is another one that is definitely going to get at least 100 a month. Oh, and that needle minder is also available on my group. I still have more of those. So Maurice will get worked on this month at least 100 stitches, if not more. Probably more. It's so easy to get 100 in. And most of the prompts that I do for... Um, my stitching groups, like Harvest, are at least 200, 300, anyhow. All right. I kitted something up last night because I just, I don't know, I couldn't settle myself to stitch yet. And it is Pharaoh's Pet. This is from Oz Stitch, O Z Stitch, all one word, dot com. And for the very reasonable prices on the charts. Uses DMC. And you'd think it's going to be full coverage, right? I thought it was. Basically, all of this in here is full coverage, but this is not. This is regular stitches. Oh, my neighbors have their kids out. The benefits of uh, filming at night is you don't hear that. So there's uh, back stitching in here also, but I did put it into uh, Pattern Keeper anyway, and then I'll deal with the back stitching. I want to give this a start, and I was thinking about starting in this bottom right corner because when you have to start in the top, you know you have to reach, and my shoulders been bothering me. So if I start in the bottom right corner, then this is literally just a line of 3371. I can start some of that border and then I can do one of these characters and then move into here. That way I can get some of this done, some border done, some of this done, some border done like that. So I think I want to start this. I don't know if I'm going to start it tonight, but I will start it soon. And I am going to put it on this piece of moccasin. It will fit onto a fat quarter. And I think this is from Fortnite Fabrics. It's 32 count. Because you still need the decent color to put these guys in. Right? So that's what I want to do. And it'll be two over two. Which is kind of nice. And I have Egyptian fabric. I don't have it here to show you because I'm going to make it in my next batch of bags. I am almost done ironing this batch of bags. So once this is done, I have my fabrics already picked for next time. And one of them is Egyptian, which is really cool. Keep an eye out for it. And I'm going to put that in there. Another one that I want to kit up is the Witch's Brew. This is a Brenda Gervais with a needle and thread. And I want to uh, kit her up. There's a lot of colors in this one. I don't know that I have all of those. So that means I'm going to have to put some brain power into it. And I have plenty of others that I should be able to find a good substitution on. Once I pull all the threads, then I'll figure out the fabric that I want to put it on. All right, I do have giveaways. So if you stuck around for this long, then you'll, 
then you'll be able to come in and possibly win something that I don't lose. <sighs> Guys, that bothers me so much. I don't know where those are. I will find them. They've got to be around here somewhere, unless I accidentally threw them away. I don't know. Okay. So, I have this one. I thought I wanted to stitch it. I really do think it's cute. I just don't see me stitching it. Um, this and this. Those are both buttons. I'm not crazy about that button. If you're going to do... Like, they don't have... That's two different... I guess it depends on what size. You, if you do it on a uh, higher count, you could use a smaller snowman button. Maybe that's what they're showing you. Anyway, I'm not crazy about those. But you can stitch this without using the buttons. Or maybe you can have other buttons you put in. Or maybe you like that button. I mean, you do you, boo. But uh, if you would like to enter to win this, just put in winter. Keyword winter. And I should write this down, shouldn't I? Winter. All right. Ben Creek. I told you I like Ben Creek. I think these are cute, but I'm looking at them, and I don't think I'm going to stitch on them. I don't think I'm going to stitch them. And it is called Holiday Houses Part 3 from Ben Creek. So obviously there's a Part 1 and 2 probably around there somewhere if you need the whole... The whole uh, collection so this is part three and it looks like a birthday it says birthday easter and fourth of july so i guess this is a birthday house an easter house and a fourth of july house uh it's just it looks like it was open before i'm double checking and making sure yes they are all in there. Gunner, your gas. Your gas is killing me today. All right. If you would like to stitch some houses, go ahead and put a keyword holiday. All right. And then I pulled out one more. Because it's wintertime and we've had some crazy weather. I hope you guys are okay, by the way. Because I heard there's a lot of uh, tornadoes and stuff going on out there. I know we were under a tornado watch. We had crazy uh, wind and rain. I slept through the whole thing. If anything's going to put me to sleep, I can go narcoleptic over a rainstorm. And I slept through it all. But it, uh, Frank told me it was pretty bad. Anyway, so a lot of people are already over the weird weather and the cold weather and I figured let's do some wildflowers this one also by the way has that on the back with the chart underneath it so bonus um, it is from Stony Creek collection February 2009 and I'm double checking yeah all the parts are there It'll get folded up and put into like a business size envelope. So if you would like to stitch this, it's pretty. I thought I was going to stitch it. I, just, I don't think I'm going to stitch it. So I'd rather so, it go to somebody that would. So if you would like to win this, uh, wildflowers. Wildflowers with the S on the end. Because that's the way I'm writing it down. All one word. I'm not going to lose these guys. I am going to... I'll look within the next couple of weeks for the missing uh, charts. If for any reason I find them, then um, I'll pull the names and stuff, and then I can announce it in the next video. It's not a big deal, right? It's not like I lost $1,000. Then I'd be mad. Um... That's all I got. I'm kind of, I'm tired. I need a nap. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to get this uh, uploaded and go take a nap. And that spider is still there, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not done. See, I am tired. I got stuff in the mail that I want to show you real quick. All right. 
Oh, I made one purchase. And this was before the new year. Uh, Alara is doing... Alara is doing a super size pain free crafts and they were only offering the whole entire chart until I think the 31st and I went on and I ended up buying a portion of the chart because I'm not doing that huge thing I bought Sabat Dragon Yule and from what I understand they took this this is no longer available it was only available to the 31st I bought that and I got the matching Needle minder. I ordered a few needle minders because they're coming from the UK. And another one that I really liked, but I was like, will I ever stitch it? Probably not. So I bought the needle minder because I liked it. So I bought a few needle minders that are being shipped. And I don't know when I'm going to start this one, but I really do like that guy. I also received a great package from Belinda over in Australia. And I don't have all the things here, but a couple of the things that were in the, in the box were a diary for this year look how gorgeous she always picks out like these really great and i don't have them here because they're hanging up in my kitchen but they're oven mitts there's two sets one's got kangaroos and the other one's got uh koalas and they're more of the aboriginal style which is really cool she also sent me the table clamp for the lowry but she forgot to send the short uh extender which is fine because i told her i said don't she's gonna send it to me she was like oh no but um i told her don't rush i'm not going anywhere where i actually need the table clamp right now and plus if i really wanted to use it for some reason i have my regular one that i could fiddle with and make it work um she also sent a hoop i have a set of these i think or pretty close to this uh and some charts so she sent otanum bomb i really like this one and um i had fiddled around with i thought about buying it a couple times and i didn't i think you get the box at like hobby lobby or something like that uh another chart that came in is uh the quilt maker and that's a lavender and lace obviously that's really old and i like this one a lot of the older lavender and lace I'm not crazy about, but I like this one, so I may stitch this one. I gave away some of the charts she sent already because she just was de-stashing and was like, here, keep what you want. So I uh, kept Courage. And I'm sending some of the other ones to somebody that wanted them, a friend that wanted them. And then there's some that are going to go into future giveaways. Uh, Miss uh, Calaroli from Black Swan. I like her. I just don't think I'm going to stitch her. There's also Lady of the Thread. I feel like if I was going to stitch that, I'd probably not do the wreath around her. But I, I probably won't stitch it. She also sent me Garden Beauty. And I'm not sure I like her. I may keep her in my stash for a while and maybe do a giveaway with her later. This will be going into a giveaway eventually. This is Amazing Lace Sampler from Pole Stitches. Then there is this piece. This is actually a um, embroidery piece. Summer Bloom Biscor New. And it's got the fabric for you to do to do uh, the embroidery on. She sent this definitely keeping this this is so cool it's got a whole bunch of nature charts in there there's some really pretty ones um there's butterflies and stuff and then i i got a happy holidays card from my sunshine stitch girls thank you so much for that and then i received an envelope okay Guys, if you are going to mail anything through the post office and you're going to use especially their stuff, make sure you put tape on it anyway, because this one actually came open and it was missing fabric. My friend uh, Harriet, she's just stitch by stitch covery. I don't know if she changed her name on YouTube, but that's what she was on YouTube and Instagram. I think she changed the Instagram name. Anyway, Harriet sent me some charts. 
and I didn't even know, but she had put fabric in here. And when I told her that I got it, I looked at the thing and it said there was two pieces of fabric and uh, there was no fabric in it. So thanks post office. Anyway, so she sent me some charts, uh, legends of the spellcasters. And Legends of the Dragons. And the Jardin Privé uh, Love, Friends, and Home. Mooka. She's so pretty. Autumn Blaze. And Fairy Winter Dream. Thank you so much. I already thanked you, uh, Harriet. But thank you again. And thank you, Belinda. I already thanked you, too, because stuff came in a while ago. Um, I think that's all I... Yeah, that's uh, all that's in there. All right. Now I think I'm done. I am going to keep an eye out for those charts because I know it was the Stormtrooper along with the bits of thread that were left over, the Trick or Treat chart, and um, the uh, Sunshine chart. I don't know where they went. It's That bothers me. There's still a spider up there. And if this was in my bedroom, he would definitely have to die. Uh, yeah. I'm going to move these giveaway things so I don't lose them. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, I will be stitching. I will be stitching on 272 words. I'll be stitching on Maurice because I, uh, like a lot of other people, I am doing the Whippagories with um, Sammy J. So I have done all of those already. Everything that I stitched fit into those categories for one reason or another and now I'm pretty much free to finish my um <coughs> monthly goal on 272 words and do at least 100 stitches on Maurice and then stitch on whatever else I want so uh I will be probably doing the new start then and uh we'll see what happens your guess is as good as mine we'll see in two weeks what I come come up with right Hopefully I find those charts. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everybody uh, weathered the storms well. And um, don't forget, don't let anyone steal your sunshine. See you in a couple weeks.